it's so wild to me that social media just blows everything up and makes everybody seem like they're living these perfect lives and I, I feel like I try to live up to what society expects me to look like and it's all just so fake and so temporary. I've been alive for 17 years but I couldn't tell you how many years I've actually been living. Everything I've seen The idea of like, can I live my life to the fullest? Well, of course you were created to live full of life, but I think we have a very consumeristic idea of what it means to live full of life. We have to have more experiences, more travel, more awesome memories. Frankly, I'm a little scared to put my phone down because I, my fear is that I'll miss something. And if I miss something, then who, who am I? I cut the pelper, can't look at this girl. We're built in a, in a society of just comparison and it causes people not to be themselves because all, all they focus on is, I want that, I want that, I want that, not, but I have this. I know you're on social media a lot and I know there have been a couple times where you've had to take a break. You're like, no, I need to stay, step back, take a break, which is very difficult. But I've also seen you be vulnerable and be open and post true authentic Kate, like you just laughing your head off and you talking about worship and you reposting people. For the five days of my screen time this week, I've been on TikTok for almost four hours. And I've been on Instagram for almost six hours. And that's so discouraging. Like I, I don't want to live that way. I want to ex be able to experience that fullness of joy, fullness of truth, fullness of, of life. Your life's gonna change every day for the rest of your life. That's inevitable. And sometimes change will be drastic and sometimes change will be really slow. It's not whether or not you're going to change, it's is that change gonna to be to look more like you were created to be or to look more like who you think you should be according to the standards of, you know, High School Musical and TikTok and your parents' expectations and all that different stuff. So, today's the day. I'm done. I will be deleting Instagram and TikTok and as mundane as that may seem, there goes three hours of my day. It takes up so much mental capacity in my life that without it, I don't know if I'm gonna read books. I don't know if I'm gonna actually have time to build relationships with my peers. I don't know, but I'm excited to find out. And so I'm, I'm done with it today. I'm done no more. Like I'm just so tired of it. I've just found myself being kind of bored. I'm, I guess I'm not wasting all of my energy seeing what these other people are working on, seeing how these other people are living their best lives. And I've been focused on my own, which is weird and kind of boring and kind of lonely in a sense. And so that's something I've had to learn is how to be super intentional with my relationships and also with my own time in my own life. So I spent this past weekend in New York City with my broadcast class because my film was nominated for a film festival. And just walking around the city with my friends and going to buy $4 pizza and grabbing street tacos late at night, it was the best experience of, of my life. I feel like I wasn't distracted by my phone because so much was happening in front of my eyes. If I were to be on my phone, I would have completely missed the beauty in the films that people poured their hearts and their souls into. I'm just so grateful for what New York has taught me. I still have a long way to go, but as of right now, I'm really proud of where I'm at. I'm really proud of my progress this weekend and how I wasn't distracted and how I wasn't even thinking about it, but just my goal in the moment was to be present. And I think that I accomplished that. 
I'm sitting in the chapel right now and I'm just in awe of the beauty here. The, the stained glass on the wall and the circles in the ceiling and the lights that turn on. The piano that plays music and, and the pews that people sit on to gather and, and to worship and to join in community. Like how beautiful little moments like that are that we just take for granted so much and so often. Just little moments of reflection like this really allow me to see the world um, in a more beautiful light. I think that the reason that this challenge was so difficult for me is because I've never actually had to spend time with myself. Because every single moment is consumed with other people's lives. Never about mine and mine alone, if that makes sense. Even though I'm spending time with my family, even though I'm watching TV at night, I'm still consuming this material in avoidance of my own insecurities. But I've noticed myself having a lot more peace. I've noticed myself just being completely content by the work of the Lord, truly. And I've really just learned to admire every little thing that surrounds me. And I'm so grateful. And it breaks my heart that I used to take these things for granted because I would never want to miss what's right in front of my face. Life is so beautiful. And I think that this is what living looks like.